All right, today we'll be talking about polar and rectangular coordinates. All right, so we've already talked a little bit about uh, why we go from rectangular to polar, and that's in, in its sum equations. If we try to write them in rectangular, they're infinitely more complex. And so we came up with a system of instead of you know going left to right, up and down rectangularly, we went, okay, how far from the pole and at what angle to the polar axis is this new point? Okay, and that, that's how we came up with rectangular coordinates. But to convert from polar to rectangular, okay, or to convert from rectangular to polar, we'll be using these formulas. So to get r, we need to take the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, now that makes a whole lot of sense because guess what? It's the Pythagorean theorem. And the Pythagorean theorem is going to get us the radius that we need to be away from the actual pole. Okay, now that also makes sense as to why theta is arctan of y divided by x. Okay, now there's two versions of this. Okay, if you notice I have one with plus pi and one without pi. And when x is greater than zero or positive, we don't need the plus pi. Okay, but if x is less than zero, in other words it's negative, we're going to need to add pi or 180 degrees depending on which number you're working with. Uh, most of the time you'll probably be working with radians, but if you like to convert to your degrees, just make sure it's 180 degrees. Okay, so those are the two easy formulas you need to remember to convert from rectangular to polar. Now to convert from polar to rectangular, even easier. <laughs> x is going to be r times the cosine of theta and if you think about that that's a right triangle trig that we're using here and y is going to be r times the sine of theta okay so that's actually how we find it and if you notice if we were to actually write out this stuff okay uh, sine of theta is going to be uh, y divided by r and cosine of theta is going to be x divided by r. That's where we got that formula from was, was just the simple trig formulas for this. Okay, all right, so for example, let's do one in here. Let's actually change it. Okay, so to convert from rectangular to polar, let's convert uh, three comma negative five. Okay, all right, so r is going to be equal to the square root of uh, three squared, which is nine plus 25, okay, because that's the square of uh, that. So this is going to be alt 251 of 34. Okay, so the square root of 34 is going to be r. Now theta is going to be equal to the arc tan or tangent inverse, whatever calculator you're using, and y on top. So it's going to be negative 5 divided by 3. Okay. Now, e even though y is negative, I'm not going to add the pi or 180 because x is not negative. Okay, and so this is going to turn into, all right, which is going to be about negative 1.03 radians. Okay, all right, and so I can actually re-represent this as, in polar form, as the square root of 34. and in negative 1.03 radians. Okay, voila, I've converted it to its actual polar form. All right, now to convert from polar to rectangular, let's say we have something like uh, four comma, let's make uh, three pi fours, okay? All right, so I'm going to rewrite x as x is equal to 4 times cosine of 3 pi fours, and y is going to be 4 times sine of 3 pi fours. Okay. And quickly converting those, I'm going to find that they're going to be equal to, which this one will be uh, negative 2.82, just a rough estimate, and this one will be 2.82, okay? 
All right, and voila, you actually have your your rectangular form of this, which is going to be negative uh, two point eight two, comma two point eight two. And voila, we have everything all set. And so that's how you convert polar and rectangular coordinates. Make sure you have these these uh, formulas very handy as you work through it, so that you understand the nature of them. Okay. All right, that's it for converting polar and rectangular coordinates. I'll talk to you later.